In this video, we'll talk a bit about vector assets and how we can use them in our applications. So we're going to look at vector assets now and explain what they are. But what I've done so far in this application is just to create a brand new application, go into the text tab and change it to a linear layout that is vertical. So nothing weird here. Uh, now let's look at vector assets quickly. So if you go to the, your resources folder and you right click and say new vector asset, you'll see that we've got this vector assets. So you're going to click on clip art there. And uh, these vector assets are basically XML files, which is quite nice because we can actually set the color on these vector assets, which is nice because uh, it can fit into your color scheme. So I'm going to take the, the beach axis there. You can you can actually take whatever you want there. And I'm just going to call it beach. Remember that it must be all lowercase uh, because we're working in the resources folder. It must be lowercase and you can use the underscore. You can see you can set some colors and opacity and so forth. So we're going to go to next and you can see it will place it under drawable and beach. So I'm going to finish and then under drawable you'll see there's the beach XML file. Uh, you can also click on the preview there and it opens up the picture for you. And you can see this is where we can change the color. So I'm going to set this to, let's say, color accent. And now it became this pink umbrella. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to close that one. And let's just add another one there uh, on your resources folder, new vector asset. And we'll just add another picture there. So just click there and let's add Let's add bold there. I'm just going to call it bold and say next and say finish. And maybe on that bold, we can set the color to the primary color, for example. If you look at the preview, picture will look like this. Okay, so let's just add a third one there, the last one there. Go to vector asset again and we'll add just a third picture there to play around with. So let's take the cake. And say OK. And I'm going to call it cake as well. And finish. I'm going to leave that one as black. So we've got the beach, the build, and the cake. Now if I want to, to add or to use these vector assets now on my application, it's exactly the same as any other image. You're going to use your image view, drag the image view. It's going to give you a list of your resources. And you need to go into your drawable folder there, your drawable resource. Then you go to project and you'll see there's your pictures. So let's start off with the beach one there. And I'm going to say OK. And you can see that it's a very small picture there. So I'm going to set the, let's set the size. So it's the width. Let's say make the width 70 and the height also 70. And then we've got a bigger picture, maybe 180 by 180 to have it a bit bigger. So there's the picture. You can still center that picture. So we can go to layout gravity, for example, and send it, center it horizontally. And then I can move down that picture or whatever I want to do. So let's move it down a bit at the top, let's say 50. And then it moves down. So there's the picture and that's the vector asset. And this is how you can use it. But you'll see there's a slight error there. So if you click on that error, and it will give you then a warning there for when you're using vector drawable compact, you need to set this value to true. So make sure you select that whole value there up until or from Android up until true and use the, the control C to copy or if you're on a Mac command C to copy that line. Okay, then where we need to go and paste that line is into your Gradle scripts under build.gradle. So somewhere there at the top, you're going to add Android default config vector drawables use support library equals true. And you're going to say sync now for your project. Now, if your build is done, you know that this uh, this error will then also disappear there. So you can you can close down the button. You can see that error is now totally gone. You don't have that red exclamation mark there anymore. These are just uh, warnings or some comments that we can add. Uh, but if there's a red error, we need to address that error. So at this stage, our vector asset is then 100% fine. So if we want to set something else on this picture, I will go to uh, the ID property and give it an ID. So let's just call this one IV pick. And then I can go to my main activity and I can set uh, that is an image view. So we're going to say image view IV pick, set it up in coding. So I'm going to say IV pick equals find the view by its ID r.id. .id. IV pick 
And then if we go back to the layout, we can basically, let's say we drag in a button there to see if this works. So if I drag the button there, let me just zoom in a bit. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot of things on this button. So let's set the text on the button change or something like that, just to see if we can change the picture there. And I'm going to move it down, let's say from the top 10 or 20. And then left 20, right 20, and so forth. Okay, so on the button then, I'm going to say BTN change. Then we go into the main activity and we set up that button quickly. So I'm going to say button uh, BTN change. And let's set up that button also. So I'm going to say BTN change equals find the view by its ID, r.id.btn change. Now for the on click listener, set the on click listener, new on click listener. So what we can do now is if we click on this button, we can set it to one of these other pictures. So I'm just going to do a, a slight example here. So one of the, the other pictures could be now the beach. I think this one is beach. Uh, that Then we can have bold and cake. So let's change it to a cake if we click on the button, just as an example. So if we click on this button, I'm going to say Ivy pick dot set image resource and you're just going to refer to that image which is r dot drawable because it's under the drawable folder and you can see there's your pictures so let's change it to a cake now in some instances it will show you your picture nicely there right so if we click the button then then that picture will change to a cake so let's just quickly test it out and see how it works right so there the app is, is running and if i click on the change button there you can see the picture changed now to the cake there Okay, so uh, this is basically how you work with vector assets. You can change the colors, you can resize them, and then obviously you can you can set the pictures to that specific image view then if you drag in. Okay, so something else that I just want to quickly show you also, what we can do also with layouts. If we want to, sh to show uh, basically, let's say, a few pictures next to each other on a horizontal layout, we can do that by going into layouts. Now, if you follow closely, you'll see that there's, uh, there's a few layers that you can use there if I can just resize this uh, There's a linear layout that's horizontal and vertical. We're currently working with a linear layout that's horizontal But we can also use a linear layout that's that is sorry that's vertical and we can also use one that's horizontal So I'm going to drag in after that button a linear layout that's horizontal and you can see if I hold it down You can see these dotted lines it forms so it tells you exactly where you're going to place that thing so I'm going to place it after the BTN change, and you can see it spans now the whole uh, the whole width and the height of the screen. So make sure you set the height then to wrap content. And now we can add pictures into that linear layout that is now horizontal. So I'm going to go back to common and add an image view. Now you can see it's just showing a little line there. So if you drag it there, you're going to have a problem. So it's easier to drag it down into that linear layout and then choose your picture. Let's say this one. And let's do the same thing again. I'm going to drag in that image view. And now you can see the dotted line. I can either put it there after that linear layout or into this linear layout. And then choose another picture. Let's go with bold. And then we can dra drag in the third picture as well. Choose cake. And you can see they are nicely next to each other. And then you can go and resize all three of them to make them a bit bigger. So we can say 50 and 50 there for example uh I'm, am i on the linear layout let me let me just make sure i'm changing that and we're setting the width and the height to 50. and there you can see they are nicely aligned so sometimes we can also use these pictures as buttons so if you want to use a picture or any other component let let's say an edit text or a text view as a button I don't know why you would use it in the text but it's also possible so if you're going to click on one of these pictures then you can see that there's a clickable property. So you're going to set that clickable property to, to on there. It must be checked. Then you can use this exactly the same as you would use any button. For example, if I want to use this as a button, I must set it to clickable. I can then go back and because I know it's clickable, I can just go and say Ivy pick dot set on click listener new on click listener which is exactly the same way that you do it with the button so for a picture that can also act as a button you need to set the clickable property to true